Every year, thousands of Jewish teens travel from North America to Israel and Poland to learn about the Holocaust. But what type of impact do these trips have on students' Jewish identities? A new scientific study focuses on a program called March of the Living. The two-week excursion begins in Poland, where students visit concentration camps, participate in a death march memorial, and discuss anti-Semitism. We take them to the sites of mass destruction. Um, we go to concentration camps and death camps, Auschwitz, Birkenau, Majdanek, Treblinka. Monice Newman has been involved with March of the Living for the past decade. She says students also celebrate Jewish life in Israel. We march from the city square to the western wall to the Kotel. And it's singing and it's dancing. This is supposed to strengthen students' Jewish identities, but Dr. Alan Nager, a physician at Children's Hospital Los Angeles, says it doesn't. Well, I found that Jewish identity, for the most part, really didn't change with the trip. Dr. Nager just released his scientific study in which he surveyed 200 Los Angeles participants before, during, and immediately after their trip last year. He has also attended every trip for the past 10 years and is emotionally invested in Holocaust education because of his family. My father was a survivor, and I lost approximately 80 of my aunts, uncles, and cousins. He says while this trip is important, his study found students were emotionally overwhelmed by the intense Holocaust education program. So after you hear the word death and dying over and over and over and over and over, it starts to lose some of its meaning. Omid Denai is a pre-med student who went on the trip as a counselor. When you get there, uh, there's a lot of shock, and sometimes you don't really know how to, how to deal with what you're seeing. So the emotion that comes out is just kind of blankness because it's so much and it's so intense. Should the trip undergo changes, Dr. Nager recommends organizers make slight changes to create a more positive experience for students. Perhaps learning about Jewish post-Holocaust life may affect their view on Jewishness or Judaism now. Newman says organizers are always looking for ways to improve the program, but believes a longer-term study is needed. Kids will tell us that six months later, they're still processing what they saw. Dr. Nager says he'll continue to be involved with March of the Living, and for his next study, he'll focus on the emotional effects of the trip. I'm Lindsay Mastis for JN1, Los Angeles.